Welcome to Streams of Income with self-help author Ryan Rieger. For the next hour, you'll hear proven methods for how to live the multiple income streams dream. Ryan is passionate about helping others discover their gifts and start their own business. He's published five books, and his courses and group coaching programs have changed the lives of thousands of students all over the world. Ryan's books include Private Label, The Easy Way, Finding Your Grace Place, and his latest, Streams of Income. And now, here's your host, Ryan Rieger. Hey guys, welcome back to the Streams of Income radio show. I'm your host, Ryan Rieger. And today I'm chatting with Jenny Hunt again. She's my business partner in the Build Your Income Streams Insiders group that we have. And this is actually a recording from a webinar we did uh, just last week called Three Ways to Make Money from What You Already Know. And yes, you have something, something that the Lord has instilled in you, some gift, some talent, an ability, knowledge that you've uh, gained that is valuable to others and people will pay you for that. And many times as I'm talking to folks, I realize that one of my biggest jobs is to instill confidence in people that what they have is valuable. And I'm telling you, you're valuable. Your message is valuable. Your message matters. And there are people waiting on that message. They're waiting on you to act. They are on the other side of your obedience, waiting for you to step out and do what you were called to do. So I hope this a webinar will give you some encouragement, uh, maybe a little kick in the pants to go out and do what you know you're supposed to be doing and uh, take action because there are people counting on you that need to hear it the way you say it. They need to know your experiences in order to be able to change their lives. So yes, you can change someone's lives, but you got to take action. So here's three ways to make money with what you already know. Let's jump into this guys. Three ways to make money from what you already know or with what you already know. The first is like what we were chatting about before is what do you already know? What do you, because what you, you guys, I promise you, there is something if we would chat, I would figure, we could figure out something that is worth that you have that you've experienced an interest that you have a hobby that you have an activity that you do something that you've that you uh you're you're good at uh, something you're skilled at it might be something you don't even realize that it's is good because it comes so easy to you Uh, we talk about people can't read their own label Mm -hmm. and it's so true so you know things that come easy to you they come easy to you. So you don't feel like it's valuable. You don't feel like anybody else cares. Uh, they, you don't feel like it's worth anything because it's so easy for you to do. And so that you kind of have, that's a hump that you have to get over. But every single one of you have something that this world needs. It's, it's some skill, a talent, ability mm-hmm. that I believe that the Lord has planted in you and mm-hmm. it's for other people. And yes, there is an opportunity for you to turn that into an income. Uh, and we want to talk about that tonight. So we'll talk about what do you know? What is it that you know? And then we'll help you brain do some brainstorming because we have some really cool examples of, of some niches that, and then we show you examples of what you could do with that. And it's something that you might not think that, you know, that's it could be monetized. Huh? Yeah. Okay. I want to back us up for just a minute because I do know that we have people who don't know us and we just like gave the all-star performance for starting this <laughs> this webinar out. Um, I just thought we could just introduce our our ourselves to the group here um, because I I um, guys we practice what we teach here, okay? And one of the things, the big thing, that, something we're really big in talking, what we want to talk about all the time. You hear us say, "Serve, go find your people and serve. Go find your people and serve." And I know um, there's some people that, you know, I've been doing that in my own um, groups that I'm in and just showing up with what I know, even things that aren't related to some, to what I have a course to, I'm going in and just serving and getting to know people. And anyway, in that, I know some of those people have come into this group. So I just wanted to give a quick introduction to one to make sure we welcomed everybody and let you know, we are a little goofy. We might not be quite as polished as um, somebody else who we won't mention, but um, <laughs> we have a lot of fun. We invite you to have a lot of fun um, with us. But um, real quick, I'm Jenny Hunt. This is Ryan Rieger. And we've had this group going for, I don't know, just since January. But we've been teaching this stuff and applying this to our own businesses for a very long time. I've um, had my business for about 17 years now. Started on eBay 
went to Amazon, found my passion in helping other people see what's possible, um, and really have moved into taking my marketing background, which was my corporate background before I even got into eBay, and translating that to the internet. Um, love creative thinking, love brainstorming, and I see so much of what's possible, and I see people getting stuck, and that I am all about helping you take action um, and to step into whatever it is you're called to do and to know that you can do it and to help empower you by giving you the resources and the skills, the training, whatever it is you need so that you can step into that um, mm -hmm. and grow an income and have the life that you um, dream of or that you need. Right. Um, sometimes we need to be home and take care of um, people, you know, loved ones or children or grandparents or our parents or whatever, um, just to have that flexible lifestyle. So um, anyway, that's uh, who I am. Ryan, I'll let you go from there. Sure. Yeah. I mean, I started selling online since two, I've been on selling online, making full-time income online since 2008. I've did a lot of Amazon stuff, still do, but uh, really feel called to help people create multiple streams of income. I wrote a book called Streams of Income. I have a podcast with that same name and just uh, really feel called, especially to dads to help them come home because, you know, being a dad, I have a three-year-old and uh, I want more guys to have the the life that I have, which I'm able to be at home with my family and I don't have to go to work to a job that I hate. And Jenny and I both have, we have women and men in our audience, but you know, we, we talk about finding your ideal audience, that person you feel like you really connect with. And I feel obviously being a dad, I feel like I connect with that guy. I, I understand what he's going through. Uh, I've had positions before where I didn't really, wasn't completely happy. And uh, I definitely, um, I'm happy now. I love what I'm doing and thrilled uh, to be able to do this. So it's just an honor to serve. And we love this stuff. We love helping people think outside the box and, and believe in themselves that, yes, you have something that the world needs. Mm -hmm. And we want to show you tonight, hopefully this just, even if at the very least it lights a spark inside you that like, yes, I know something Absolutely. that is valuable. May not know what to do with it yet. That's okay. Move, mm -hmm. just keep moving forward with action comes clarity. Um, move for, towards those steps uh, follow your interests, follow your curiosities, um, and see what's out there. So, mm -hmm. right. So tonight we are focusing, like Ryan already said, on three ways to make money with what you already know. And mm -hmm. he's really good and gifted at, um, asking the right questions to pull out what you know, because it is hard, like you were saying, to see your own label. And so before we could really get into talking about the three ways to make money, we wanted to focus in on that <laughs> with what you know piece. Sure. So I will move us along on the slides and you can take it. <clears throat> cool. So guys, what do you already know? So this is kind of just a brainstorming session. Think through this, maybe even get out a pen and paper and write down some of the things that you, you care about. Uh, we've mm -hmm. got some questions here in a little bit um, that you can just answer in your head or write down on a piece of paper. But Maybe you're in the health and fitness niche. Maybe you've, uh, it, you don't have to be like an expert. Like, you know, uh, we have a friend who's a homeopathic uh, practitioner. She does this for her job. That's, you know, she's a big time person in that. But let's say that, you know, you just um, went through a weight loss journey and you've got into shape after years of being out of shape. And uh, people are asking you, how did you do that? There's something there. People are asking you how they do something, how you did something. That's a clue. If you have a lot of people asking you about, you know, how you stay in shape, how you're working out, what do you like to do when you work out? If you're the go-to person for that, that's something. Think those are clues that people see you as an expert in that. You don't have to be the expert of all experts in any of these things. You just have to know more than the people that you're teaching. And you're always going to be moving forward. You're always going to be learning and, and growing. So there is room for you. No matter, you can look at the health and fitness niche, Jenny, and be like, man, there's so many people in that. And uh -huh. it's, there's, just, there's no room. Yes, there is. Because, you know, somebody's going <clears> to <throat> listen to you over somebody else. Like yeah. if I started talking about health and fitness, um, you know, I've lost 30 pounds over the last couple of years. You know, there'll be people that, see that as like, wow, he's just a regular guy. He's not like in tip top shape. Right. He doesn't have six pack abs. I identify with him. And the same way guys, same with you. There's, you just have to know a little bit more, have a little bit more experience than those folks that you're teaching. And you're always going to be learning and growing and getting better. And you're just constantly like on this scale, you're bringing people up with you and you're following people ahead of you and you're all growing. Mm -hmm. So think of the, think through these things, education, uh, Jenny and I were just chatting about this with everything going on in the world. How, 
what is going to be the need for, I mean, there's going to be a major need for homeschool when the, when parents um, are going to work and their kids aren't going to school, what are they going to do with them? Mm -hmm. There's a lot of folks that are going to need to either figure this education thing out or they're going to need to find teachers online. If you're a teacher right now, there is opportunity for you. And in my opinion, to make a whole lot more money mm -hmm. teaching online than what you normally make at your regular job. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't have to also just be teaching school age kids. It, you, um, I believe like what Jenny and I are doing is education. We're educating yeah. people how to make an income online. So pretty much any any knowledge you have, you could be creating a course, writing a book, educating people with what you know there, but it could be just regular education, K through 12, even college uh, repair. Are you good at repairing stuff? Do you know, are you a auto mechanic or there you go. gun repair or, you know, things break, <laughs> iPhone repair, everything right. breaks these days because it's all, oh, we won't say why, but everything breaks. <laughs> yeah. Repair. Guys, I'm curious, some of you are sharing in the, um, in the comments that, you know, uh, Tara, you're saying, I know backyard gardening, seed saving techniques. Um, I'd love to hear where you guys, I'd love to hear you guys share what you know. What is, what in my, you're not committing to, okay, I'm going to do all this stuff about this thing, but right. I want you to be thinking about what is it you know? Um, what is your experience? We'll, d we'll dig more into this too, but maybe some of this will spark Mm -hmm. um, as Ryan's going through his beginning part, um, you know, oh, I do, I like to repair clocks or I like to, sure. you know, whatever. <clears throat> so, or yeah, does, I mean, guys, <laughs> literally feel free. If you want to share that stuff, I love it because it may, me may even have time to do a couple brainstorming things with something you may not think is valuable or could be monetized. It's just a mm -hmm. hobby or a fun thing for you. Mm -hmm. um, plenty of ways to make money with some of this stuff. Okay. Yep. All right, some other niches. So we were uh, we had a call <laughs> earlier today in our insiders group and talking about fishing. Uh, somebody Nicholas in that in our group was talking about how he's a fly fisherman and and knows how to do that and and makes the flies and all that. So that's something most people just do as a hobby. You just think of it as a relaxing thing. But if you really love it and you have people that are interested in learning from you, you could teach that. You could turn that into some type of income. There's so many ways to do that. Cooking, same way. Lots of options there. We, we're going to show you the break down the, the fishing niche here in a minute and just show you ways to create multiple streams of income from fishing, cooking the same way. We could insert cooking. We could insert pretty much anything into what we're going to talk about here in the next few slides. And there is a way to earn income from all of these different things. So fishing, mm -hmm. cooking, what do you know? So the question is, what is it for you? Yeah. What is it? I mean, it, it doesn't even just – the brainstorming process is fun because it's like, I have no idea how I'm going to monetize this, but my interest is these five things. What are they for you? And so here's some questions to get you thinking about this. And I encourage you, if, you're, if you have a pen and paper there, or you got your phone, pull up the notes app. What do you love doing? Okay. Now, don't even worry about this in, in the in light of making money. Don't even just right. don't even think about money right now. It's not no. about monetizing. Of course, we want to, we want to show you how you can do that, but just right now, brainstorm, everything's out on the table. What do you love doing? What? So here's a clue that might give you some other ideas. What Facebook groups are you in? Think through your, your Facebook feed, what pops up? What are some of the same themes that you're, you're seeing? Um, and just maybe even after you're done with this, go into the group section of Facebook and see what you've joined in the past. Mm -hmm. Likely you're joining things that you're interested in. So what are those niches? Hopefully Where are you're you joining groups. Out? What's that? I'm just being a stinker. Sorry. No, no. What? I said, hopefully you're in groups that you're enjoying. The right. Exactly. There, but and if you don't, it's an opportunity to get rid of some of them and kind of go, go clean down. up your Facebook. Yeah, for sure. Uh, where do you hang out? What face group groups do you hang out in? What uh, do you have any clubs that you go to? Probably not meeting right now, but you know, where do you, where do you who's your, what's your group of friends? What do you talk about when you get with your friends? Do course, you go to the your, gym? Uh, mm -hmm. Like just some thoughts. So do you go to the gym? I mean, maybe you can't or you aren't right now, but, um, and then maybe like, do you go bouldering or a rock climbing place that's indoor or, um, you know, maybe you like to shop and so your hanging out place tends to be at, or at a coffee shop. Like go back 
it seems like 10 years ago, but go back four months, <laughs> or whatever it was. What did you used to do? What did you used to do? Where did you, where did you back like Back in the day. <laughs> The beach, <laughs> on a boat, on the lake, you know, you like to go camping, those types of things. Just be thinking, right. thinking that through. <laughs> yep. That's awesome. What are your hobbies? Yep. What do you like to do with free time? If, um, if money wasn't in any object or you didn't have to work or whatever, what would you be doing with your time? What do you enjoy doing on the weekends when you have extra time to do? And when you, what do you do for relaxing? What are those things? What do others ask you? This is a really big clue. Um, some of the things, some of the reasons Jim, Jenny and I love having social communities attached to our courses wow. is that it allows us to get feedback from people. So when we have several people ask a similar question or ask about a certain thing, for example, in the, the legends group that I run, uh, we had a lot of people ask about how to sell on Walmart. Like, okay, you know what? All these people are asking about this. It's time to create a course or put out some type of content to meet that need. Same for you. You may not have a Facebook group, but when you get together with people or when people ask your advice for stuff, what is that? What are they always coming to you for? What do people see you as the expert in and not expert in like, you know, you know everything about this topic. You just know more than them. And so they feel like they can ask you. Jenny, you had somebody to contact you about homeschooling. Um, you know, mm -hmm. you've done it for a long time. You may not be the expert of all experts on homeschooling, but you know more than Melaine and I do because we haven't done it. Mm -hmm. And so I feel like I could go to you and ask you and you give me great advice and point me in the right direction. So guys, what is that for you? What do people come to you and ask you <laughs> advice for? What could you talk about all day long? What's something that you just, without even any notes, you just rattle off the top of your head, something fun for you to talk about. Mm -hmm. It's not work to talk about it. Um, low hanging fruit. What do you have access to? So when I was on a call uh, yesterday with somebody and she's obviously an ideas person and she had all these ideas, all these opportunities um, that she saw in her business. She's a wedding photographer trying to figure out how to scale that beyond just working one-on-one -on -one with clients. And so she's like, I could do this and this and this. So I told her what is going to be the fastest quickest opportunity for you to get off the ground because all these are really good ideas and all of them could be money makers <clears throat> for you. But what's going to be mm -hmm. the quickest one to take action on? Also, what's the quickest one to take action on and has the highest potential return for you. Mm -hmm. And so that helped her gain some clarity on which one she should try first. So what do you have access to? What do you currently do? If you have a, a job, for example, are you you know, you're learning a skill there that you could take. We know people who are doing a skill at their job and then do that same type, type of thing as a consultant outside of their work. What is your education? Do you know, I mean, did you get a degree in something you're not using? Maybe that's potentially something you still have an interest in and you could turn that into an income. And guys, these are just things that just get you thinking. That's a really big one. I want to sit there for just a minute because I think that, you know, we've talked about this a long time and Ryan, we've, we've, um, talked about how, you know, I've, we've kind of gone through some of these questions with a lot of people. And, but we, I don't ever re really remember focusing on in on education. And um, even if you're not doing anything related to what your degree is in or what you studied in school, um, you studied that because you were interested in it, you might not be yeah. so much anymore, but you did gain knowledge. And sure. um, that can impact, I, I'm just thinking about, um, there's somebody in our in our circle who we were working with and we didn't even know what her degree is was in now I can't remember what it was in but it was shoot anyway it was it complemented the direction she was going so mm -hmm. well and it opened up whole new doors for her and opportunities mm -hmm. because um, I mean it never even occurred to us for some reason to dig into that with her and so I want to camp there because you might brush that off thinking oh that was like 20 years ago or 40 years ago or I'm not even doing anything related to that anymore I'm not you know but at some point you did and you do have that knowledge and it could complement or be a part of the bigger picture so don't discount it um, and like Ryan was saying if you're taking notes which you should be uh, maybe I'll put together a worksheet for you guys that complements mm -hmm. this and helps um, you answer these questions. If that's helpful, let me know in the comments, but i um, happy to do that. But camp on this and go, you know, okay, not thinking about making money. What was my education? 
Just think mm -hmm. about it. Just put it down there. What did you get mm -hmm. your degree in? Or what did you hope to get your degree in if you didn't finish? You know, what did you want to be when you were a kid? What did you study in school? I think that that's actually a real valuable piece that can enhance sure. whatever area you end up going into. Mm -hmm. And we've never even ever really talked about that before. Um, all right. Who are your connections? So here's something even mm -hmm. else kind of crazy outside of the box to think about is you may not even want to be the quote expert on this stuff. So who are your connections? Think about, do you know anybody who has an audience? Do you know anybody who, okay, let's take the health and fitness niche. For example, let's say that I don't feel like I'm the person to be out front on that. Maybe I have a friend who um, is just, wow, everybody looks to him as the guy for fitness. Like he's totally in shape. Um, he makes it look easy, um, but he has no idea what to do online. He wants to earn an income from that, but doesn't know what to do. He's totally, maybe he's a physical fit, a trainer and used to just working with people one-on-one -on -one, and he's kind of tapped out. I, I can't take any more clients. I'd love to do an online course, but have no idea where to start. I don't even have time to begin to do that. Well, in, in comes you. You could be that person that says, you know what? I've learned this skill. I know how to create courses online. I know how to do books on KDP, Kindle Direct Publishing. I will partner up with you. I'll do all that back end stuff. And essentially, you just help him bring his message to the world. That right. can totally be possible. So maybe you don't feel like you're the person to be out in front and be the expert on the topic, but you want to partner with people and just facilitate it and you could have a whole business based on you just being the one that brings that you just, you're partnering with other people. Mm -hmm. um, think about that. Maybe that's your thing. Well, and also like what um, I was just thinking about um, like, who do you know? Maybe you know somebody who has access to something you don't have access to, mm -hmm. you know, I guess that's kind of what you were saying, but I'm thinking about, um, you know, even in Amazon and you're with selling product, maybe you know somebody who works at a company that can be an in for you as a, for a sure. wholesaler or for, you know, so sure. think about those connections in that, um, in that way as well. Brian is talking about what you know and figuring that piece out. Now we get to talk about the fun part, which is how to make money with that. Um, and we're, the whole point of this webinar is to share with you three ways that you can make money. It's actually more than that, but I think this is going to be um, helpful for you guys to think about opportunity a little bit differently. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, let's just, I forget the movie. What movie was this from? Show me the money. I should have put uh, um, Jerry Maguire. Yeah. I should have put Tom Cruise there and something. I don't know, but, mm -hmm. but this was a little bit more visually um, a, a, a better example of the money growing, mm -hmm. um, not just standing there yelling, show me the money. So um, <laughs> that probably won't get you much, just saying. So let's talk about how you can make money with, um, with what you know. We're going to use fishing as an example. I don't know if Nicholas is on with us, but he was earlier on the call. And I said, oh, we're going to use fishing as an example. So um, <clears throat> we're just going to use that. I am not a fisherman. My dad is. And so mm -hmm. I've grown up around that. That's about it. <laughs> That's about it. So we're going to, we like to, I like to pick things that I don't really know that I'm not super familiar with to kind of prove a point really that these principles can apply across the board. Mm -hmm. um, so if, if we're looking at three ways to make money with fishing, okay, the first way to do that is to look at a do it yourself model. And um, this is a do it yourself. You guys, we all know what do it yourself is. Um, it's kind of like Ikea. <laughs> you go and you get the stuff mm -hmm. and you build it yourself. You do it yourself. And maybe there's directions that help you. <laughs> Let's just say. Maybe. Okay? But, um, but that's a do-it-yourself model. So um, with the fishing, you know, here I've got, you've got all the equipment. You've got the tools that you need. So as you being the person who would be um, making the money here, you would provide all of the tools for your people to do it themselves. So for them to be able to fish by themselves, an example of this would be like um, some of you, a lot of you guys know Ryan and I from when we teach have taught um, private label for Amazon. He, that started because he wrote a book called private label, the easy way people can buy that book. I imagine it, I think, is it on Amazon? I think it's on Amazon mm -hmm. <clears throat> and all, other places as well. People can buy that, never interact with Ryan. He never interacts with them. They could read it and totally run with that. It's a very small percentage that will do that and actually take that action. 
but that's a do-it-yourselfer, okay? Right. So you, there is ways to make money. Ryan charges for his book. He also has a, you know, a way that what places where he gives it away, maybe if he goes to a conference or things like sure. that, but it's, a, it's not very much money because there's, not, there's value there, but there's not any engagement. There's no work for Ryan anymore with it. You know, he did the work a long time ago, and now there is a book. So it is a do-it-yourself model. With, fish, with um, private label, you can do the same thing with fishing. You maybe have a kit or something. It can be a digital checklist and planner type of a thing, or it can actually be a rod, you know, all the pieces you need, and maybe some instructions. Think Ikea. It's what they need and the tools to build it. They do it themselves. They're on their own. All right? People will pay for that. There are, um, and that's a very good entry-level way to make money um, uh, around what, you're, what you already know or what you're passionate about or what your interests are or whatever. But let's dig into this more. So with fishing, what would that be? We talked, you know, some tools. Um, what are your fishing tools? You got your rod, your reel. Uh, maybe you have flies, if, you know, fly fishing, lures if you're not fly fishing. Um, it could be a kit. There can be even some training material. Um, you can have a training video set right of um, how to use the rod how to put things together you could have a book you could have a workbook about um some a workbook could be is more like a prompting so um could be like a maybe even there's a journal for fishermen where they are you know their favorite fishing spots and what time of day they went what flies they used um that worked really well for that particular spot i don't know um there could be worksheets involved video um it, training could be either way i guess it doesn't have to be video checklists things like mm -hmm. that that you give the tools to the people and they go and take that and run with it you never interact with them so that's guys, just plug in your niche to this so terry is on here <clears throat> and it's backyard gardening and seed saving techniques so you could give people the the seeds to grow you could sell your own private label there are so many there are companies out there and i remember talking about this in our private label group where you can um they sell seeds but they will allow you to put your brand on their packaging essentially uh -huh. private label you can have your own brand of seeds so if i bought a seed kit terry you're not going to come to my house and plant them for me but you might you know sell me the seeds and have a video online where i could learn how to do it how far apart do i put these seeds how many do i put in there how often do i water it it's all i do it myself but i'm learning from you and you may even give me you know sell me a spade and a little shovel and anything else i need to to make that make the, my tomatoes uh be bountiful. <laughs> so, but you're my expert. <laughs> and how to and grow, how to, how to pull the seeds, you know, from the fruit or whatever. I don't even know how you do that, but you know, to be able to save them so that you can, they can be um, planted the next year. Mm -hmm. There's so much you can do with that, but you're thinking, I mean, you could even go to, okay, now that you've grown all these vegetables, is it just mm -hmm. tomatoes or is there a whole spectrum of things? Yes. Um, you, know, you can do a pizza kit you could do, you know, a salsa kit or, yeah. you know, whatever. We bought a mozzarella making kit from Trader Joe's one time. There you go. That's make, not seeds, make, but yes, you can <laughs> grow your own mozzarella cheese. <laughs> right. No, seriously, you made your own. It was kind of fun to do it. That's cool. And guys, okay. One thing I might hear, I hear people are saying this in their heads or mind readers tonight is, <laughs> you know what? I could go to YouTube and find all these videos and learn how to do the seeds. It's for free. So how, yes. why in the world, how could I ever charge for a fishing, for fishing training when there's plenty of YouTube videos on all this stuff? All right. So my answer to this is yes, there are. And you can, and we teach, Jenny and I teach how to, we teach people how to sell on Amazon as well. And there are plenty of Amazon videos out there and you could get a whole Amazon training for free if you wanted to. But when you have a course it's all in one area. You're saving people the time and effort of going and searching all these things, especially with something like Amazon. It's ever changing. The rules are always changing. So how do I know that a video that was, was shot in 2018 is still applicable today? Yeah. So you are, there are going to be people that aren't going to buy your course or buy your training because yes, they can get free videos on, on, on YouTube all day long. However, there's going to be people like me that do not want to be searching YouTube forever uh -huh. and hope that those videos are still 
essentially up to date. And I would much rather pay you, Terry, for your knowledge. And you've compiled all this into one, one little course. And it's one stop shop for me to go to. My time is valuable. I do not have time to be going to YouTube and searching for all the latest yeah. videos and hoping that it still works and all that. So that's why that's one big reason is, um, you know, another reason people might not know the videos are there and they can get it for free, but there's a lot of folks that would rather pay to have it all one, all right there, step by step. You're going to lay it out with worksheets. You're going to show me exactly what to do with pictures. And, uh, I'm just, it's going to be much easier for me than to search out all day long for, for videos. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Someone also said, you know, you could even go into canning. There's so many directions you can go, but what happens is as you move, what was the, what's your quote, Ryan, with, with, with action comes clarity, with action comes clarity. So as you move and interact with your, you know, you get a fishing book out that's kind of niched down and nobody buys it. Well, that's mm -hmm. a good clue that you need to do a little bit of research. Um, doesn't mean people aren't fishing because you know, people are fishing, you know, people are you know, there's best selling fishing books or whatever, you know, but you get in and you maybe you need to niche a little differently. Um, and you can do that. <clears throat> anyway, you can do this with any niche. Um, I would say 99% of the niches you can this model for three ways to make money is going to apply. So we're just using this for an example. But let's um, go to the next one. In case you haven't figured out what it might be, we have the do it yourself. And now the next one would be a done with you model. So done with you, if do it yourself is I give you all the tools that you need so that you can go do it yourself, okay? No more interaction with me. Done with you is I give you the tools and some training and uh, mentoring or coaching along the way, all right? So um, you're no longer on your own. I might go fishing with you. I might have some videos and some webinars um, where you can ask questions. There might be a Facebook community where there's some interaction and engagement. Mm -hmm. um, it is a done with you. We are doing this together. Okay. Mm -hmm. So in fishing, that might look like, um, like I gave some examples already, webinar training, pre-recorded video training, and then um, you can tie that to a Facebook group. So there's that community accountability group um mentorship maybe you bring in some expert fishermen uh who you know are talking about their i really wish i knew more about the niche but their tips and techniques about um you know the great hidden rivers and you know to go fly fishing or how to saltwater fish um i've never fished from a boat in the ocean i've done lake fishing but that and that's totally different than stream and river fishing you know so um, then there's regions. There's so many things you can do with mm -hmm. community and um, get some experts in, do some interviews or whatever. Um, opportunity for question and answer. That helps serve your audience. It also serves you. Ryan mentioned that already, that we love having community. It gives us opportunity to pour into, and we love to um, help people. But it also, we get served as well because we get to hear what people are struggling with and what gaps are there, and we know how to better serve. So um, that Q&A time can be really helpful. Um, and then you, when you're doing that and you're having that interaction, that allows you to add resources as needed. And that as needed is really key. It's not as you come up with new ideas, okay? It's you're adding resources as you're seeing the need arise. Um, and that allows you to grow this even more. So we've got what, what we're kind of suggesting is if fishing is your thing, there's room for you to have a do-it-yourself type of a thing, a book. Uh, you know, we just went through all of that. With Ryan for Private Label, the easy way it was a book. Um, then also have a done-with-you model because not everybody's going to want to do – not everybody wants to build their IKEA bookshelf right. or whatever it is. Some people actually want to buy one already built. Mm -hmm. That's the next one we're going to get into. And maybe other people, they want to learn how to do it, but they don't have a clue how to – use Ikea's tools because they're not the regular tools or yeah. how to follow their instruction. You know, they, they need somebody to coach them along and encourage them. So that's this done with you model. You give the training to your people and you journey with them through it. Mm -hmm. The third one is this done for you. That's where you go and you buy the dresser at the store. 
Um, that's mm -hmm. where you pay for the fish that have already been caught. <laughs> and you, you know, you don't, maybe you don't want to go fishing. Maybe you just want to go sit in a boat <laughs> and you right. don't want to actually do the fishing. Or maybe you want to catch the fish, but you don't want to process them. And um, although there's catch and release and all that too. So um, it's really the done for you is you doing it, whatever it is for your people. Okay. So there's, you're giving them the tools they need for them to do it on their own. There's giving them the tools and let's do this together. And then there's, I'm going to do it for you. So some ideas for that with yeah, fishing. That's good. Go ahead. I'll keep going. I got, after you're done with this one, I'll use the Michael as an example on the digital marketing agency example. Sure. Okay. So uh, done for you here. Um, it doesn't have to be the whole thing. Okay. It could be a piece of it. So um, with private label, we've actually done this whole spectrum. We have do it yourself, which is Ryan's book. We used to have lessons that people could go through and just get that by themselves. But now that is incorporated with um, a community. So there is a done with you piece as well. And the done for you piece is really just part of it. It's a launch pad. So we do the first third of the process. We do the research, maybe the first half, maybe it's, <laughs> I don't know. We do the research piece. Um, we have that as an option that's available as a done for you. So it doesn't have to be the whole enchilada. It can be a portion of it that is done for people. That still counts as a done for you option. So um, jumpstart or shortcut, some sort of fast tracking people um, to help, you know, with getting some work done. Maybe they don't have the time and so they need you to do a part for them is there some sort of shortcut that you can give them um, again I mentioned the research phase um, being completed that was our example but um, you know maybe you go to them maybe you go and you're teaching people how to go out on their own fishing expedition well maybe the done for you is you coming and you doing it for them in their place and their location and they learn by watching you or maybe they don't want to learn at all so you can have all three there um, it is the whole enchilada but it can be um, it doesn't have to be five enchiladas. It could be one. It doesn't have to be the meal for the whole family. It can just be one. I don't know. So the do, done for you. One though. Yeah. Well, it depends. But um, guys, you get it. Done for you is you do it <laughs> for your people. Okay. So there's three ways right there that you can make money with your knowledge, with what you already know. Look for a do it yourself where you can share that with somebody a done mm -hmm. with you and a done for you. And within those, there's additional, you can have more than one that you were going to share something. Sure. Yeah. So Michael, you said that you, your quickest um, to market would be a digital marketing agency. So I have a friend named Greg Tosi who does exactly this and you could follow his same method. He has a, he teaches people how to do Facebook ads. He has a course about Facebook ads. He now has a, so the course would be essentially the, the DIY. I buy the course, I learn it, I do it all myself. May never even talk to Greg. Second one done with you, he has a membership site, membership program where if I go into that, it's the course material essentially, but then Greg is there. He's helping me. If I want to ask questions, I'm in that Facebook group. Say, hey, Greg, what's going on here? I don't understand these numbers here. Um, that, that would be more of a membership model. So that's kind of the done with you. He's coming alongside me done for you, which is what I prefer when I work with this niche. Cause I, it's not my thing. I don't, I'm not a Facebook ads expert like you are. I, I just say, Greg, you, you run it and that, and he is a consultant and run essentially just runs my Facebook ads for me. So that think about what is, could your niche be that our friend Nancy Alexander right and makes rees she started making rees posting them and selling them one on one on eBay, and now she has a, a community of people that follow her. She's got online courses. You can even go to her house and, and she would do coaching like all day long. She'll sit there with you and help you make a wreath. She had women that would come like several at a time in those group days. So she's taken something like yeah. that where she, you could take a course and just hands off, you do it. You could uh, learn from her how to do it. And also you could just buy the wreath already made. So all of these things can fall into this pattern. Yeah, there is really a lot of opportunity. Even going, let's talk about the Instant Pot group, right? So there's this Instant Pot group and it's got, um, I don't know, two or three million people in there, okay? So a do-it-yourself way. First of all, I'd go in there and I'd be listening and maybe a lot of people are wanting to know about, um, you know, keto or quick, I don't know, some, what to do with chicken. You know, they get all this mm -hmm. chicken and they don't know what to do with it. Um, so 
you're in there and you're seeing, gosh, a lot of people are asking about how to really get some good chicken meals with your instant mm -hmm. pot. And you happen to realize, you know, you, you like your instant pot, you have some good recipes that you've kind of developed or whatever, you have your way of doing things. I don't know, your meal planning for, you know, 50 ways you can cook chicken in your instant pot. I don't know. But come, you know, there's, as you're hearing these needs, that helps you define what you could do as a do it yourself um, thing. Okay, you know, what? I'm going to do a check, I'm going to do a list of five recipes. And I'm going to just start sharing, hey, this is what I do. You know, um, I do the instant pot for this long for every pound of poultry or whatever. Um, you could have a short list of recipes. And when people are like, hey, do you have any other resources, you can give that away. That can be a, yeah. a do it yourself. You can have a book that you put together of recipes or meal planning with your instant pot, listening to clues, what are people asking? And then a done with you maybe is um, you do videos where you're and you have a community like they have, right? They have this instant pot community. Well, maybe there's more to be done there where there's, um, you know, become a pro with your instant pot with, you know, you can make anything, I don't know, um, some sort of course, some sort of um, place where there's collaboration. That's what's already happening in that particular Facebook group. I imagine I'm not in it, but um, you know, there's, you get people together and they start sharing ideas. So there's value there. You could actually charge to have a community be a part of some training that you are offering um, in within a group around the instant pot, around chicken or around keto, whatever it is you're doing. And then a done for you might be, um, you know, maybe it's not, I'm going to prepare the meals and mail them to you because that might be a little inconvenient. But what if it was, um, you know, here is your whole meal plan done for you, not just a how to plan with chicken during the week in your instant pot, but here's a meal plan for you. Here is a shopping list that goes with it. And in fact, you can just upload that right into Instant Cart and they will shop for you and deliver, choose your delivery date and you don't even have to do that. I mean, that's a done for you. Yes, I still have to cook, but you've done everything possible short of coming to my house and putting the chicken in the Instant Pot for me. That's a done for you. So any niche, I mean, if you sit in it long enough, you can come up with ways to um, monetize with a do-it-yourself, yeah. a done-with-you, and a done-for-you. And sometimes if you can't find it, just sit in that community for a little while and you'll start hearing what people are, um, are wanting more information about. So some of you guys have seen this little mm -hmm. daily bopper here. I'm doing my... The, um, this is our blueprint, right? We, um, we have a, we've done webinars where we talk about this and this blueprint using the master as an acronym, that word will go, right? Maybe you can go over that, but I wanted to sure. show you how there's my typo. It's killing me. It's not D Y I. I'm not really dyslexic, but that's killing me right now. D I Y do it yourself. Do yourself it. I don't know. Um, so the first two here are going to be things that are a do-it-yourself model. The second two, the S and the T, are a done with you. And the E is a done for you. The R could pretty much be any of these. So do you want to talk about um, yeah. this acronym? Sure. Yeah. So it's the, obviously the master acronym. It's uh, Jenny calls it an engagement funnel. It's also, a, you, know, you guys have all seen probably an internet marketing funnel where if you're trying to find your people and build your audience, you, they're... They're all out here. They're all up. up this, you have a lot, a lot of people up here who potentially could learn about you. Um, they buy your book, get your course, and they start to funnel down. And it's, it comes, you know, to a smaller group of people who maybe become one-on-one -on -one coaching clients. So there's a whole lot more people that bought my book, Private Label the Easy Way, than are in our Private Label the Easy Way mentoring program, and a whole lot less that we did mastermind groups with. So it's just imagine a funnel. Top, a lot of people down here, not a lot of people. So the meet and need. Um, is where you're, you're kind of just wetting their appetite. You're starting that relationship. For us, that's usually like a, uh, my, our, both Jenny and I have a podcast. So a podcast fills that need there where we're giving away free content. Uh, we may never, ever talk to the people that listen to that podcast. Um, a lot of them, they may just be, you know, listeners and, and never buy anything. And that's okay. We also have things like we call lead magnets. It's an opportunity for us to give away something like an ebook, maybe a, some type of a, a downloadable PDF. Uh, and then people get that and in exchange, we get their email address and start that relationship. So you're meeting a need there, you're solving a problem for them. So for let's say the fishing niche, it might be, you know, the, the five best 
you know, I, bait, five best pieces of bait to use to catch a uh, catfish. I don't know what that is, you know, and so like, five I'm best a kinds of worms. that's right. I, I would be a fisherman. I'm thinking, okay, I need to catch catfish. I want this, these five, you know, I want to know what this, this five things of bait are. I'll give you my email address in order to get that. So it's something valuable to them that they're willing to give up their email address for. And then the A is the add value. So after they've gotten that PDF download, you're probably starting a relationship, some type of e emails back and forth, uh, maybe not back and forth, and maybe it's all that you're pushing to them. Hey, thanks for downloading my, uh, my tip sheet. Uh, how'd you like that? How else can I serve you? You're constantly providing free content, giving them added value, mm -hmm. pointing them to other resources. Maybe you have a Facebook group you point them to where there's some, in, uh, where they can get some free content. Um, and then the A would be like the adding the value, like a course. This is where you start to probably make some money on this. Uh, now it's a course on how to fish catfish. Instead of just, you know, catching, uh, instead of just the, the bait, it's like all about catfish and you're, you're teaching them everything you know about it uh, in that course. And so that's the add value piece. You're adding, adding meat to the bones of mm -hmm. the, uh, this, this, the, the M is just kind of mm -hmm. wetting their appetite. A starts to give them some valuable content not that in the end piece is not valuable. It's just they uh, usually need more to take action. That social piece is when, and the way we do that is we have a, a, a Facebook group attached to all of our courses. So that allows us to engage with the people who buy it. That is super valuable for us because we get to learn where they're stuck. Uh, they also, it's valuable for them because they get to ask us questions. So with my example with my friend, Greg Tosi, who has a membership site, he has a Facebook group associated with it. So if I get stuck with Facebook ads, I can ask Greg and he'll answer me in that group. So that social piece is huge for both mm -hmm. you and for your customers because, especially for you, because you get to learn where they're, what else, you, how else you can serve them. You notice like, man, everybody's getting stuck on this aspect of fishing. That's how can I help them? And so that gives you other streams of income you can possibly uh, enter into the picture with because you're seeing that need. The team piece, that's where we enter in things like live events, mastermind type groups, accountability type groups. It's getting smaller and smaller, smaller group of people or at this level it could be one-on-one -on -one coaching. Mm -hmm. So people who are like, yeah, I, I love this. I need more. I need to, I really need you, Greg, to show me how to do this. I need to get on a call with you. Um, cause I'm just not getting it. It doesn't even necessarily mean they're not getting it. Maybe they're not taking action. Some people mm -hmm. need that, um, that added push. Uh, we do this well with accountability groups. Some people just, um, it's all the same material, but, uh, it just allows them to move forward because now they got to be held accountable for it. End to end is where you're obviously, we kind of talked about this, where you're kind of doing it for them. Um, with my friend, Greg, that's where he just does the ads for me. And then the recurring revenue, this is the the fun, really fun because it's, and it's not necessarily an extra layer. I mean, it's an extra layer. It's not anything different. It might be your, your course turned into a membership site that recurs every month. And it's just something maybe you've already created. Um, but now you just turn it into a, a recurring model. Mm -hmm. This could be all types of different things. So, um, Terry for your, you know, if your, your tomatoes, it could be like, you know, a seed of the month club mm -hmm. where every month I get a new package of seeds from you. Um, it could be so physical products like that. It could be, um, training every month. It could be, uh, a, 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 you know, an ongoing coaching package that I have with you. Uh, so guys are so many options to turn any of this stuff into recurring revenue. Mm -hmm. And so on the, uh, the right is the obviously less handholding. You maybe never talk to these people at the top, the people that get your ebook, the people that listen to your podcast, uh, the people that buy your seeds, Terry, they, you may never talk to them, but down at the bottom where you're one-on-one -on -one coaching, obviously you're, you're, you're definitely talking to them. You know who those people are. You're building a, a relationship with those folks on the left-hand side at the top. Obviously it's free. You know, I, if I buy, I get your, uh, your tip sheet on how to catch catfish. Uh, that doesn't cost me anything but an email. Um, and, but then as I go deeper down the funnel, you know, your course is going to cost, cost me and be, be an investment for me. The one-on-one -on -one coaching is going to be a whole lot more than, than the, the courses. So as the, as your involvement increases, obviously your, your income increases too. Yes. Because they're getting closer to you. They have more access to you and you are the um, expert. Yeah. So. so income streams, 
at all. I mean, there's, there's multiple ways to make money with what you know. And, um, it's just, I mean, it's super fun. And guys, another thing is don't, sometimes when we talk about the master acronym, it can be overwhelming and confusing because you're like, Oh my gosh, you know, it's like, we're talking about recurring revenue and one-on-one coaching and live events and masterminds and accountability groups and courses. And now I got to do a Facebook group. Don't worry about any of that. Just step one. What's the easiest, lowest hanging fruit opportunity? What's the easiest thing for you to do? What we usually teach is to, you got to find your people. You got to find who you're, if you're in the fishing niche, who are those folks? Where do they hang out online? Mm-hmm. Get in front of them, serve them, and then start with the end piece that meet a need. What problem can you solve that they have? And that could become a, a short ebook. And guys, it's not, it doesn't have to be a big, thick book that takes you forever to try to put together. It literally could be a one page PDF mm-hmm. that is just valuable enough for them to like, yes, I want that. Here's my email address. And don't worry about the one-on-one coaching and all this other stuff. That stuff happens as you start to build that relationship. You grow an audience. Your audience will tell you what they need. And these things will come about as you listen to them. So this is just to give you a picture of what's possible to show you what we have done. And none of this, we didn't do any of this stuff like, when we first started the private label the mentoring, private label able the easy way mentoring group, we had no idea that we would have a recurring revenue piece, end in services, uh, do accountability groups. The only thing that we knew was we took the book and turned it into a course. That's it. And so the the other th- other streams of income came as a result of listening to our audience and meeting those needs, and it just naturally flowed. So don't let this overwhelm you. These are just showing you that yes you can do this too with whatever niche you have Mm -hmm. um and this is could be what your future is but you got to start with with ground zero right yeah but it does help to see the big picture so absolutely yeah we just don't want you to think oh my gosh i gotta get in and do it all now no no absolutely not but you can watch for the opportunities you know oh you know what actually that might not be a bad recurring piece you know where that was Mm -hmm. never on your radar Mm -hmm. before for sure so guys, we want you to go, obviously the, we talk about we, what the things that we just taught you is what we do. Yeah. And this, uh, this webinar, webinar tonight is free. This Facebook group that we're broadcasting in is a free group. That's our meet a need. That's our M piece. And to be quite honest with you, we are totally fine. If you decide, you know what, this webinar has been awesome. I don't need to go any further. I know what I need to do. Uh, I want to get into the free Facebook group. It starts a relationship, but we know some of you are going to be like, yes, I need more. I need to know what that next step is. I don't want to have to figure it out on my own. And so that's what we have an insight. That's why we have an insiders group. It's just another mm-hmm. layer for those that want to go deeper, that are ready to do this. Mm-hmm. Um, so let's talk about it. Essentially, it's, um, it's a, a course mentoring community, all the above. Um, but it's a, we have, tons of training. We go through the M-A-S-T-E-R acronym. We've done uh, content already that we've broken down in detail what those each of those pieces look like. Mm-hmm. We've done, um, let's see, we, we did a whole module on finding your audience and uh, finding your people and building your audience. So Michael had a question about um, how do you find your people? Where do you go? What Facebook groups do you go into? Um, and we, um, we talk about that in detail. Yeah, and guys, inside the group, one of the things that we've been doing is um, doing, starting, kind of working people through where we would start and we would recommend people start is, again, like Ryan said, starting with finding your people. Mm -hmm. So we did a a course on um, just a couple months ago, find your people and grow your audience. We talked about how to find your people on Facebook, how to interact with them. Guys, I I have a, there's a, uh, this happens in a lot of groups, but there's one group in particular I go into because I've had so much success there about 15 minutes a month, I will go into that group and I will respond to a question or something like that. And usually I have between 30 and 50 people um, private message me for more information. I'm never self-promoting in that group. It's against the rules there. And I want to honor that. But um, I just literally, sometimes I'm even just sharing like my course. There's a lot of questions about self-publishing and KDP. So I'll just talk about how I teach it. And I say, oh, I teach this and here's what I teach. And I literally will just go in and say, we validate and here's why you validate. It's important to test before and blah, blah, blah. And I go in and I just share all that in the, con- con- in the comments and people are like, oh my gosh, they kn- she knows something. And so they reach out to mm-hmm. me. 
So we teach how to do that and how to find those groups and how to use what you're learning from that community to refine your business in your direction. And um, that content, we did it live, but that's all in the insiders group. We do that in there. Yep. Um, and we offer it sometimes. We don't always, but sometimes we offer some of that training outside of the insiders group for a fee. But inside, you get it for free. So we started with the find your people, grow your audience. And then we went the next step. Once you have your people, you got to have something to give them. So we did a um, lead magnet challenge. Mm -hmm. And we talked about how to, you know, what kind, how do you figure out what lead magnet you need? how to create it, how to deliver it, um, all of that. And then we did, um, after they have a lead magnet, well, they will, might want more from you. So you, the next step would be really to have some sort of course. And so mm -hmm. we just finished, I don't know if it was last week or the week before, I think it was two weeks ago, yeah. the um, uh, course, how to create a course, uh, what is it? Online course is the easy way. Um, mm -hmm. We have a million names for it. It's a course course. It's a course about building a course in three, three days. So um, all of that content and a lot more is in that group. We do training um, formally in there at least once a month. Mm -hmm. um, and that's, that, that's what we've done most recently. Um, upcoming, mm -hmm. we have um, some things on the, usually we listen. We listen to the group. Where are they stuck? What is, uh, you know, where are they interested in? We did something on affiliate marketing recently. And, um, you know, we might be moving into social media. I mean, there's, we're listening and bringing in, if we don't know, we bring somebody else in to help. Right. Um, but that is all training that's, that really helps. It's the implement, implementation of this concept and what we've taught today in the webinar. Yep. If you need help with the implementation, that happens in this insiders group. We want to invite you to be a part of it. Yeah, and we have the mentoring community. That's the, the Facebook group where you can ask questions anytime. We had a monthly office hour hangout just today, actually. This mm -hmm. afternoon where we get on, it's like, hey, guys, how can we help you move forward? Just hanging out and answering questions. So we do that once a month, too. You can ask us questions anytime on that call, um, but obviously in the group as well. Uh, we did the You mentioned the monthly training that we do at least once a month. We just did one on affiliate marketing, mm -hmm. uh, talking about how to make some extra money uh, as an affiliate. There's opportunities for rev share. This is kind of fun. Um, and we've partnered with people who have an idea and we might be able to help them grow that out. Maybe we even uh, promote your opportunity to our audience. I've done this multiple times and it's so much fun to help somebody create a course and, and in part and share in that. And because some people just need the confidence that yes, their, their content is valuable um, and may need help with doing the webinars and all that. So if we see a, an opportunity there for us to, to help you um, and it serves a, a, it's a win, win, win for our audience and for you and for um, us, then that's an opportunity as well. We would do that for somebody in the insider group. We have retreats that so we've done one so far was um, thank God we did it when we did. Otherwise we wouldn't have oh, had last, it, but it was in February. Last retreat of the year. That's right. February in San Diego. If you're inside the, in, if you're in the member of the insider group, you have an opportunity to join us at that. Mm -hmm. uh, it was really, really fun. Okay. We have a resource team. So as you go through this, you're going to need to have lead magnets, um, courses and all this stuff. And it's like, where do I even go? Well, we have people that have done this for us. Uh, how do I create a, a, an ebook? How do I do, how do I get it published on, on KDP, on Kindle direct publishing? How do I make it look good? How do I edit it? Um, you can do all that yourself or you can just use people that we've used. And so you have access to our resource team. And of mm -hmm. course, um, we have our own inner circle program, which is just another layer below that. And if you're inside, it's like our little mastermind group. So if you're inside the insiders group, you have an opportunity to join that. It's closed right now, but um, we will open that at some point. So that's the insiders group, guys. This is just a, we, for those of you that want to, to move forward or ready to, to take action or ready to turn that thing that's inside you that, you know, man, gosh, I know that now's the time to do this, that I'm ready to, you know, take that thing that I know about and turn it into an income. We'd love to help you. And we literally believe like this group will do it. And the way we teach it is so easy. It's not expensive tools, fancy software, crazy polished videos. You can tell just by watching us, we have fun. <laughs> we, not everything is super polished, but man, we're just real and you know, it works. And we, um, you know, like the course, how to create a course in just a few days that, uh, that really resonated with folks that, you know, it doesn't have to be, you know, you spend hours and hours creating content and then hope it sells. But so actually to tomorrow is the last day for this. So it's, uh, 
normally $47 a month to be in this group. If tomorrow we've had a, a special running for a little while, but mm -hmm. today's tomorrow's the last day to get in for the first 30 days for a buck. Just try it out. If you feel like uh, it's not for you, Hey, no pressure, but love for you to join that. Come, come alongside us, help us. We want to help you. It's build your income streams.com. Mm -hmm. And tomorrow night, the price goes back to $47 for the first one, which is still not bad, but we, you know, some of you need to need to check it out. You want to kind of, Mm -hmm. and do a, a test drive and see if it's a fit for you. Yeah. So. And guys, um, that dollar coming in, it gives you access to everything we've done that's in there. Right. It's not like you only get the little, you know, the most recent thing or what we've done this month, but um, all the training that we've done, we have gone through that master acronym. We've gone through each one of those and dug deeper into what is the M piece? What is the meet a need? What is the A piece? So um, there's a lot of training in there. Um, and we also will be doing, you know, we do new training every month. So yeah, a dollar for 30 days, even if you just come in for that, totally worth it. Even if at the $47 price, it's totally worth it. Um, just one of those courses and that training in there would well pay for, um, oh, for sure. pay for it. So you guys might recognize, um, we had a wonderful conversation with Dr. Mike Chua, who's a physical therapist for dementia yeah. patients. And he's, Ryan already talked about him. He is implementing this and on fire. He is on fire. And we learned something new that kind of lit a little fire underneath us about some things we can do as well. That's an amazing interview. It's actually in this free group, but he, um, he is a really good example of he's taken this and he has built his whole, a whole business model around, you know, this blueprint that we provide and that we teach. So um, he's a great example. You guys might recognize Stephen Hibbert. From the Hibbert Brothers, the Wingman Merch or Wingman University, I don't know what they're calling it right now, but um, Stephen and um, Nate are brothers, and um, they're always doing something cool and new, um, but recently did a print-on-demand summit, but their model also is built around this, um, this blueprint and, uh, you know, all the different layers and the pieces, and they're in there as well. Um, just some, there's, there's quite a few, but just some success stories um, mm -hmm. of people who have implemented these concepts and this idea, this blueprint and really built a business around it that is um, significant. So um, wanted to share that. Is there an age limit? <laughs> no. Maybe on the lower end, but <laughs> right. <laughs> no, 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 no age limit. Come on in guys, build your income streams.com. We'd love to see you in there. We have so much fun. <laughs> I don't, you know, this is my fifth call today, so I'm a little oh loopy. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's my fourth. I have one more um, later, but. Oh, my goodness. Um, yeah, so we do. We have a lot of fun. What you see is what you get. This has been a little bit crazy as I've been trying to learn Canva for present, but you guys are amazing and amazingly patient. Um, but we uh, do have fun in that group for sure. And, and everyone's like-minded and there's something yeah. about being with people who are positive and like-minded heading towards mm -hmm. the same goal. You're not competing with each other. Um, but there's a lot of, uh, really good community mm -hmm. in that. So would love to see you in there. Build your income streams.com. If you go to that website and you scroll down a little bit, there is a book that you can download as well. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Um, that kind of it's, if you prefer to read a little bit and get a little bit more, uh, it goes through the master acronym as well. So, um, go take a peek and we'd love to see you in there. So yeah. is there anything else? We kind of went yeah, over. Guys, it's just about under. helping you take action. It's really all it. I mean, it's what we want to do is help because if you, um, you have all this amazing message on your heart to share and you never do it, you're not helping anybody. And I, something I've heard, I will never forget. Somebody said, um, there are somebody is waiting on the other side of your obedience and that gift that you have is for somebody else. That knowledge, that expertise is, is yes, for you to enjoy, but you're supposed to share it. And you, you guys know it. You know that, that I know that a lot of you are like, yeah, I know I've been wanting to write a book for years. People tell me I need to write a book. Now's the time. And there has never been an easier time to do that. If you, 20 years ago, it was a lot harder. The traditional route of publishing, much, much harder. Jenny is the master of just self-publishing and can show you how very easily get a book published and get your message out there and start earning income from it. So guys, now's the time. Get in there. Let us help you do this and, and change the world with a message that you have because your message does matter. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. We'd love to help you in that journey. So 
if you guys have any questions or anything, this um, will be available immediately for replay um, in the Facebook group. Um, if you're not in that free Facebook group, come on in. Come on into the, fa the free Facebook group there. There's some training there as well. Guys, if you're new to that group, go into the units section. And we've talked, um, this was a new way for us to talk about this blueprint. But there's a couple other webinars that are underneath the units that um, are training for, you know, how to, how to really dig into, we dig into more of discovering what you're, what you're, you're passionate about. What is it you know? What are your mm -hmm. skill sets? Um, so if you want to dig into that a little bit more, I will um, put together a worksheet and post that with these slides as well. Not with the slides, but um, to go with this webinar, um, probably do that um, before the weekend and get that in here. Just so you guys have some... Um, Actually, you know what I'm going to say? No, I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do, I just realized there is a worksheet already in the unit section of the free Facebook group that goes with how to um, monetize your passion. And that actually would be better than a worksheet that goes with this because it's deeper. So go to the units, look at the worksheets there. Um, even if you just do that, you know enough from watching this webinar. That's a good resource for you guys. So... Um, Okay, so guys, the replay's here, and any questions, post them in the comments, post them in the group. Go to buildyourincomestreams.com. We'd love to see you in there. It's just a buck through tomorrow night, yeah. um, and then the price goes up to $47 a, a month, and you can cancel any time. Let yep. us know how we can help you. Appreciate y'all. Yeah. <laughs> All right, bye. You've been listening to Streams of Income with self-help author Ryan Rieger. From right here in the Dallas Metroplex, Ryan teaches several entrepreneurial courses and group coaching programs to students all over the world. Be sure to listen next week at the same time for Streams of Income with Ryan Rieger.